Hello chess lovers, this endgame study was composed by Valentin Rudenko and Tigran Georgiev. According to the authors, white is winning, but while I was analyzing this with Houdini, the engine found a refutation line, and it turned out that actually this is an equal position, and there is no way to win with the white pieces. By the way, I have started to analyze my endgame studies with Houdini because I found out that Houdini is much more stronger than Komodo or Stockfish, especially when it comes to endgame studies and one of these days I am going to prove it as well. But now let's have a look at this position. Right now black is threatening a checkmate by playing knight f3. For example if you capture on a7 black will simply play knight f3 and this is a checkmate. That's why instead of capturing on a7 White is promoting his pawn to a queen. By the way, I will first show you the line suggested by the authors and then I am going to show you the refutation line as well. And now according to the authors, the best move is knight f3 check. By the way, this is a losing move. Black has to give up his queen. Queen takes h5. And now black has two options, either to play e2 or capture on h5. Let's have a look at this continuation starting with knight takes h5. Now comes rook b8 check. If you take on a7, black can simply play e2 and there is no way to stop this pawn. So we see rook b8 check, king a2, and now an amazing rook b7. Again, rook takes a7 is losing because of e2. Rook b7, rook takes a6. Well, if you capture on b7, then white will recapture with a pawn, e2, rook a8 check, king b1, white is promoting to a queen and this is a winning position for white. Let's go back, we see rook takes a6, rook b2 check, king a1, rook b1 check, king a2, rook b2 check, king a3, rook b3 check, king a2, rook takes e3, King takes b1, rook takes f3, and white is winning because there is no way to stop these pawns. Let's go back. So after queen takes h5, we have already viewed this variation, knight takes h5. Now let's have a look at the move, e2. Now comes rook b7 check, rook takes b7, and queen h8 check. King b3, queen g8 check. King b4, queen f8 check, king b5, well if king c4, then rook c8 check, king b3, queen g8 check, king b2, queen h8 check, king b1, rook c1 check, king takes c1, queen c3 check, king d1, a takes b7, e1 queen, white is exchanging the queens and promoting his pawn to a queen and this is winning for white. Let's go back. After queen f8 check, instead of king c4, what if black plays king b5? Now again we see queen e8 check, king b6, queen d8 check, king b5, and here comes an amazing sacrifice, queen a5 check. It seems like this is a desperate sacrifice, but this is the only winning move. King takes a5, the idea is that now you are taking on b7 with a check and promoting your pawn to a queen and white is winning. Let's go back. And now I'm going to show you the refutation line. After e8 queen, instead of playing this losing knight f3 check, black has a stronger move. Rook takes g7. This is that move which leads to an equal position. Queen e5 check, king c2, queen takes f4, and the only move which can lead to a draw, rook takes g5, rook c8 check, king d1, and now white has to give a perpetual check, otherwise there is a checkmating threat, knight f3. So rook c1 check, king f2, rook c2 check, e2, and queen b6 check, king f1, queen b1 check, king f2, and this is a draw. Again, 
queen b6 check king f1 by the way if you promote your pawn to a queen you will lose after queen b1 check if you play a move like e1 queen then you can get checkmate hit into queen e2 and queen takes e2 that's why you are just moving your king f1 f2 and this is a draw your comments and questions please and thanks for watching good luck